Oh, some of the best fragrances by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for the summer. They're here. Hey, fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now I've been doing a series of videos on Phoenix Arzon Accoutrements limited releases, and they've been just nonstop releasing fragrance after fragrance. I'm pretty sure they're tired of me uh, contacting them, <laughs> but I have some of their latest fragrances from about a month prior to this. Now a quick recap about Phoenix Arzon Accoutrements. They're a great grooming company that sells kind of wet shaving products for men. They have aftershaves, shaving soaps, they have shampoos, they have regular soaps, deodorants, all of them are fantastic. And they also have eau de parfums. You can get any of their scents in any of their products. So if you like one scent, you can get the whole suite of products with it. I think that is super cool. And I've done that many times. They have a normal line of fragrances that they normally keep in production, but they also have limited releases that are only there for like a month or so. Those will eventually go away. So if you're interested in any of these, definitely check them out at the link down below. That is an affiliate link. So that will help me out anytime you buy through that. I always appreciate it when you do that, definitely check out Phoenix Arzon Accoutrements in the links down below. And again, all the fragrances I have here are the aftershaves, but they have these all in Eau de Parfums, and I'll be linking the Eau de Parfums in the link down below. Of course, Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements also has samples. And if you wanna try any of these, at least try the samples because they're excellent. But I have six fragrances here that I wanna talk about, and they're all great. First one, of course, again, is Thought Forms because Thought Forms has not gone away yet. Thought Forms is kind of a collaboration between me and Phoenix Arzon Accoutrements. It's not for everybody, but it is an excellent scent that is rosy and steamy, frankincense, a little bit spicy maybe. It kind of smells uh, almost like cold rocks in the desert. It's really interesting and cool. One of their best and just an amazing, unique scent. Kind of reminds me of a very masculine form of Portrait of a Lady, kind of. It's Really cool and interesting. Definitely check out Thought Forms. All right, next is Old Salty. Now this is a fragrance that came out a while back. It's a re-release of a limited fragrance. It's a collaboration he did with Robert Carey of Zen Shave. Now, as the name suggests, it's salty. It's an excellent salty, fresh scent that smells amazing. It's truly aquatic, but I think is very wearable as well. Now, notes in this are sea salt, balsam, driftwood, citrus, oak moss, and vanilla. Now, this was inspired by Swedish Dream Sea Salt Body Soap, which I'm not familiar with, but it does have kind of a soapier smell to it. It's on the fresh side, on the clean side, and that's what I love about this. Sometimes salty scents run away with the kind of saltier qualities here, but this is kind of grounded by the citrusy qualities here and the fresher notes here. It's really good. Honestly, it's one of my favorites from the limited range that I've tried this year. It's really good. The citrus is perfect in this, nice and sharp and green. The saltiness is just right. It doesn't go overly salty. It doesn't feel like it's gonna make your skin dry out. And they actually sent the shaving soap as well. And this one looks like it's a hologram version, which they have holographic versions for their fragrances that are kind of uh, limited numbers. So if you buy within a certain amount of time, you'll get like a holographic label, just kind of an added kind of collector's item there. I think it was really neat. Great, great scent by Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements, Old Salty. Next is Doppelganger Green Label. Now the Doppelganger line of fragrances from Phoenix Autos on Accoutrements is supposed to directly copy older fragrances. I know he has other fragrances that are inspired by older fragrances, but the Doppelganger line seems to be kind of exact clones. This one is interesting because this is inspired by Paco Rabanne Pour Ohm, the original one that came out in the 70s. Now this one is amazing as well. This is another one that has been just fantastic. If you like barbershop fragrances, then this is one for you. This is a classic barbershop style fragrance. Now notes in this are rosemary, sage, rosewood, laurel, lavender, geranium, moss, honey, tonka, musk, and amber. This is a banger. This is one that you've got to have. This is another one that has become a favorite of mine. It's so, so good. Sometimes with older fragrances, they smell old and you kind of just have to be in the mood for them. This one though does not smell old. It still smells modern to me. It absolutely nails the barbershop style fragrance with a lavender kind of almost powdery type of vibe. It's very masculine, very inviting, and it's enjoyable to wear, unlike some older fragrances for me. I don't always like older fragrances, but this is one that I love. It's nice, it's smooth, it's warm, it's cozy, it's like a blanket. It's on the fresh, clean side, and if you've tried CAD by Phoenix Arts on Accoutrements, there's a little bit of that in this, I think. They kind of share a few things, but this one to me is so much smoother and better, and I love CAD, but this one to me just blows 
blows it out of the water. This has just become one of my kind of uh, go-tos from now on. Cat is no slouch, but this is just amazing. Definitely check out Doppelganger Green Label, fantastic. Next is Miami Libre. Now this is an exclusive that was designed for the South Florida Wet Shavers group. It was made in 2015 and they just re-released it and it's also really good. Notes are lime, coumarin, benzoin, vanilla, tobacco, white sage, mint, pineapple, and rum. This is an interesting scent because I don't really know how to classify it. It changes a lot on your skin. In order for you to experience it the best way, you kind of have to let it open up a little bit on your skin. When you spray it right on, I don't think it smells the best right away. I think you have to let it warm up a little bit for you to get the kind of full effect. Because at the top, I get kind of this juicy fruit type of vibe. That kind of has to go away, and then the fruit starts to come out again. You get the pineapple, and the pineapple smells great. It smells really good, nice and sweet pineapple. And that to me smells better when it opens up into that pineapple. I also get a good bit of mint in there, but it's just enough. It's not overpowering. Mint can be really overwhelming and overpowering. It just adds a little bit of tang and bite to it, and then I get the nutty vanilla and coumarin that come out as well. It's tangy, fruity, and warm. It's a great scent, and I'm glad they re-released it. It's really cool, very interesting, and unique. I haven't yet been to Miami, but for some reason, this seems like it just fits. It seems like it's all Miami, which is really cool. Definitely check out Miami Libre. Next is Outdoorsman's Friend. Now, this is a really cool idea because this one is making a fragrance with natural ingredients that are natural bug repellents. Now, I have heard of maybe one or two fragrances that have done this in the past, but this one is really accessible and it's also really good. So if you find yourself outdoors and you need kind of that bug spray, but you don't wanna to have to spray on DEET all the time, this is definitely a great option. Now, notes in this are catnip, spearmint, peppermint, litsea, cubella, orange, lemongrass, citronella, eucalyptus, and spruce. Now there's a lot going on here as far as the notes. And one of the things I read on their website is that catnip is a natural bug repellent that is several times better than DEET. And DEET is a great bug repellent. You definitely want DEET, especially for ticks. But a lot of people don't like the idea of spraying DEET on you for a long period of time because of maybe the health effects. This is a great alternative for natural bug repellent. And then also, it just smells a lot better than bug spray. Like that, that whole cliche about a fragrance smelling like bug spray is the thing. You don't want a fragrance to smell like bug spray unless it's a fragrance that is bug spray and what you do want it. <laughs> and you definitely smell a lot better than bug spray. Now, really what I get out of this is lemon, which is not really listed in the notes here. I get lemon pledge is what I get, like straight up lemon oil. And some people might not like that, but I think it smells pretty good. It smells very natural as well, which I like. And I haven't given it a real testing to see how well it does for bugs or not. But if it just repels mosquitoes, I am all about that because there are so many mosquitoes down here. <laughs> One thing I will say and I will recommend is getting this in the aftershave because you get more bang for your buck here. You get a lot more for a lot less money and you can spray it over your body and it's not going to be overwhelming like maybe the Eau de Parfum is. And two suggestions here are either the travel atomizers, which are inexpensive. You can just put this in there and then just spray down your body if you want or the atomic atomizer. It's also really inexpensive, comes in a lot of different colors. You can put it on your aftershave right here and just use it as a puff to use and just spray it all over your body. That way you can get a lot better coverage on your body. But yeah, definitely check out the aftershave and at least one of the atomizers. All right, next is 11235, rolls off the tongue. And this one is inspired by the legendary fragrance 4711. And as a little kind of Easter egg, this one has the Count of St. Germain on the front. They didn't mention that, but I already know that because I'm really into that kind of stuff apparently. <laughs> Now notes in this are aldehydes, neroli, citrus, mint, pettigrain, lavender, and it also says green, earthy, woody, and herbal. Now this smells to my nose exactly like 4711, but elevated in a way. Uh, this is obviously more than the original 4711, but 4711 literally lasts like minutes on your skin. It's that watered down. But the smell itself is what everyone loves, and they want that, but maybe something stronger. And so this is something that I think is a great kind of middle ground between 47. 11 and Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, which is on the other side of the spectrum, very expensive and smells similar to 4711 as well. This one is very similar to 4711, citrusy, petty grain, sharp, kind of that Italian citrusy type of smell. That's exactly what you get here. It's excellent. It smells very high quality as well, and you don't get the kind of sharp metallic 
artifacts that you do in 4711 now, but you also get added performance and added projection and longevity, even in the regular aftershave, it's a lot longer, but you can also get it in their Eau de Parfum as well, which is, just adds to it. It's very citrusy, sharp, sour, acidic, rindy. It's excellent. And I know the next thing you're gonna ask, you're gonna ask, how well does it stack up against Neroli Portofino? I think Neroli Portofino kind of advances 4711 in a way. It doesn't wanna clone it. It tries to change it a little bit and be a little bit more softer around the edges, which I like about that. This one is just trying to be 4711, but with better ingredients. Ingredients, and that I think is what you get. I don't think this is necessarily a replacement for Neroli Portofino, but again, I don't think you need Neroli Portofino to really enjoy this type of scent. This is excellent. Always reminds you of the beach for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it's so good. Definitely check out 11235. All right, and last but not least is a re-release of Phoenix Lights. Now this was a limited release back in February. They had a meetup in Arizona. It was released only for like a week or so. It was not long. You couldn't get that for very long. So Phoenix Lights, is back as a re-release and you've got to check it out before it goes away. I'm pretty sure it's going to be here longer than it was initially. Notes in this are citrus, grapefruit, jasmine, woods, amber, musk, tobacco, and wormwood. Now this is an amazing scent and I'm glad they brought it back. It's really cool and interesting. A very interesting tobacco type of scent. One note that I get in here that uh, is not listed is cherry. I get like a very kind of sour cherry type of note that's not listed in here mixed with a tobacco and kind of a hint of spice. So I get kind of a very different feeling and interpretation of the scent than what is listed on the notes. But I still think it's amazing. Definitely check out Phoenix Lights. So that is all I have. What do you think? Have you tried these? You've got to try these. It's just a great lineup this month. So yeah, definitely check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements in the links down below. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.